To explain this, we take four cells with the same action potentials for every cell. There are two electrodes, one negative and one active positive electrode. In resting state, all cells have positive charge, so there is no difference in electric potentials, and the active electrode registers this as either electric line. At first moment, electric impulse reads the first cell, cell depolarize and change its charge to negative. We have one negatively charged cell and three positively charged cells. So there is the vector of depolarization that is orientated from left to right, because recall that the vector is a line from depolarized cell to non-depolarized cell, or basically it's a line from minus to plus. And because the vector is orientated towards positive electrode, electrode register elevation from either electric line. In the second moment, the first cell goes through early rapid repolarization phase to the middle of plateau phase. The cell or charge is negative. The second cell depolarize, go through early rapid repolarization phase and read the beginning of plateau phase. The charge became negative. And third cell depolarize, its charge became negative. So in the second moment when the second cell depolarize, the vector became maximal due to a maximal potential difference. And the active electrode registered maximal elevation from either electric line. And when the third cell depolarize, the vector decreased and the active electrode registers this as decrease in elevation. In the third moment, the first cell reads the end of plateau phase, the second cell in plateau phase, the third cell in the beginning of plateau phase, and the fourth cell depolarized, its charge became negative, and now in early rapid repolarization phase. All cells have negative charge, so there is no difference in electric potentials, and electrode registers this as either electric line. The fourth moment is a key moment. Recall that during action potential, cell restore its positive charge in final rapid repolarization phase. And in the fourth moment, first cell is in the end of final rapid repolarization phase, so its charge became positive. The second cell in the middle of final rapid repolarization phase, so its charge became weakly positive. The third cell is in the end of plateau phase, the charge is negative and the fourth cell is in the middle of plateau phase, the charge is also negative. So in this moment there is formation of vector of repolarization that will be orientated towards negative electrode. That's why in this case active electrode will register repolarization as depression from isoelectric line. This will be maximal when second cell repolarize and when all cells repolarize there will be isoelectric line. So we see that if duration of an action potential is the same for every cell, repolarization begins from the cell that is depolarized first. Because this cell reads the final rapid repolarization phase earlier than other cells. Again, this principle is works only if all cells have the same duration of an action potential. But cardiomyocytes are very specific cells, and the principle is that the more epicardially located cell, the shorter is the action potential. So we have four cells from endocardium to epicardium. We see that the duration of an action potential became shorter with each cell from endocardium to epicardium. And we see that the most prominent changes are with the most long-lasting phases, as plateau phase and final rapid repolarization phase. And we have two electrodes, negative and positive. In resting state, all cells have positive charge, so there is no difference in electric potentials and active electrode register as electric line. At first moment, electric impulse caused depolarization of the first cell. Cell depolarized and the charge became negative. Now there is a difference in electric potentials and formation of the vector of depolarization. The vector is orientated towards positive electrode, and that's why positive electrode register small elevation from isoelectric line. In the second moment, first cell goes through early rapid repolarization phase and reaches the start of plateau phase. The second cell depolarize, its charge became negative and reaches the middle of early rapid repolarization phase. The third cell depolarize, the charge became negative. So in the second moment, at first, when the second cell depolarize, the vector became maximal. And when the third cell depolarize, the vector decreased. An active electrode registered this at first as a maximal elevation from either electric line, and then the elevation decreased because the vector decreased. In the third moment, first cell reads the middle of plateau phase, the second cell reads the middle of plateau phase, and also third cell is in the middle of plateau phase. 
the first cell depolarize and just in one moment reach also the middle of plateau phase. And we see that the reason is a shorter action potential. So the shorter is the distance, the less the time it takes. Now all cells have negative charge. There is no difference in electric potentials. An electrode register decrease to isoelectric line. In the fourth moment, the first cell is still in plateau phase. The charge is negative. The second cell in the beginning of final rapid repolarization phase. The charge is still negative. But the third cell is in final rapid repolarization phase and the charge became weakly positive. The fourth cell reached the end of final rapid repolarization phase. Cell completely restores a positive charge. Recall that the vector is aligned from minus to plus. So in this case the vector of repolarization is orientated towards positive electrode. And the electrode will register elevation from isoelectric line that in moment 4 will be maximal because of two repolarized cells. With third repolarized cell, elevation decrease, and when all cells will have positive charge, electrode will register isoelectric line. So we see that between cardiomyocytes there is substantial difference in the length of an action potential. The length of an action potential gradually decrease from endocardial to epicardial cells. And this short action potential of epicardial cells compared to a long action potential of endocardial cells is the reason why repolarization begins from epicardial cells. And that's why in cardiomyocytes the vector of repolarization is orientated in the same direction as the vector of depolarization. Another way to look at this is that when we'll take just the distance of these phases in one straight line, in first case it will be endocardial cell, there is depolarization phase, early fast repolarization, plateau phase and final fast repolarization. And we know that in final fast repolarization phase the charge became positive. All this line is an action potential and electric charge is moving with some speed. In the second case it's a picardial cell. The action potential is shorter and there is depolarization, only fast repolarization, plateau phase and final fast repolarization phase where the charge became positive. The speed of electric charge through action potentials is the same for both cells. We know that basically the distance is equal to speed on time. With the same speed of electric charge, the only thing that makes a difference is distance. And because the distance is shorter, even if these cells depolarize with some delay, epicardial cell reach the final rapid repolarization phase faster than endocardial cell. Because the action potential of epicardial cell is shorter 